it's important to talk about what has happened in the past so that um, we don't make the same mistakes for the future. And so I think this is a great book to read with your students, probably upper grades three through fifth. Um, it has some a, a bit more sensitive material in it. Um, but this is a story about Rosa Parks, and it is called Rosa by Nikki Giovanni, and it is illustrated by Brian Collier. And the illustrations are really beautiful. There's this um, kind of collage cut paper technique, which is um, really cool to look at. Um, so this just talks about how it is in the life of Rosa. She's just an ordinary woman who was at her job and, and she decides to take her bus home early and she wasn't looking to start a movement, but when she was presented with an opportunity, she decided to say no when she was asked to move seats because she was black. And so it just kind of shows her thought process and how she got tired of doing things because white people told her to, um, it kind of shows how, just how her life, she has to kind of deal with sitting in certain parts of a restaurant or sitting in the back of a bus and she just got tired and so she just thought she's not doing anything wrong so she's just going to say no. And through that she's arrested and it starts a civil rights movement and um, people start marching and so it is just, it really illustrates how, how much work went into simply being able to ride on the bus with um, white people and black people combined. And so I think today we kind of take that for granted, students take that for granted, as well as I do, um, that this is not something that used to be, this is something that people had to be brave and step up and say no. And this, there were real consequences. People back in the day were killed for this kind of thing, and they are still killed for certain, standing up for certain rights. Um, and so that really gets that across. Um, a couple things to be cautious about that you need to really prepare your students for is that it does um, reference colored people and colored sections, and you really need to talk about how that kind of language should not be repeated, that it is very hurtful to say that's, um, to call someone colored, um, that you would say, a person of color, and that is the respectful way to use that language now. So you just really need to prep kids for that. Um, but I think this is a really great story that kids will get into, and that's my cat Sebastian. But I really like how in the center it has this section you can unfold. Um, just showing how many people got involved. It's just really beautiful. Um, so it shows that on November 13th, almost a year after the arrest of Rosa Parks, that it was now illegal to segregate um, buses and schools and churches and things like that. So this really um, is a cool way to show that monumental moment. And so I think your students would really like this book, and I encourage you to give it a try and talk about some things that might be a little uncomfortable, but it's an important part of our history.